Hello, hope you're having a great day. I am absolutely winning so far this morning. It's 25 to nine. I woke up straight away at half seven. In fact, I was laying in bed waiting for my alarm to go off from about quarter past seven. And once I did get up, I made sure that I cracked straight on with everything that I need to do. Yeah, really focusing on being efficient, you know, not sitting around scrolling or doing anything like that. So yeah, you know, I've been up an hour and five minutes and I've already had my glasses and glasses of water and my vitamin C, written in my journal, already done my meditation, already walked around the block. And um, yeah, it's time for me to crack on with my exercises. In terms of what I've been listening to this morning, I've just been listening to various videos about discipline because Discipline is what will get the most out of you. You know, motivation is temporary, but you need to make discipline something permanent in your life. All right, so I've been basically following what I've been doing in the gym here at home for the last couple of days, whereas before that I was sort of doing what I was going to do in the evening in the morning. So, you know, last night I was doing back and shoulders. So today I'm just going to do deadlift, bent over rows and shrugs. So I'm just following on from what we were doing in the gym last night. So I've had my breakfast and I've had my first cup of coffee. Now, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, most of what I've got to do today involves me getting out of the house. In fact, I was supposed to crack on with some stuff out of the house yesterday, but didn't have any time. But before I do leave, I do wanna edit yesterday's video on this channel. All right, so I've got everything done that I needed to at home on my MacBook, and I'm now heading over to my other garage where I store the other two of my cars. I'm gonna fit some bits of this car, that's the plan, and that'll enable me to wrap up another video that I've already started filming, and I wanna have a look at what other parts I've got that I can get rid of and uh, potentially have a tidy up. Anyway, what I wanna talk about now is cutting corners, right? Now, the last few days, especially, I've been trying to improve my efficiency so that I can get things, get more things done, you know, so that I can get through my morning routine quicker and look we all live busy lives and there's so many things out there that claim to be shortcuts in our lives you know tablets that can apparently make you lose weight overnight you know there's people out there that are using steroids to help themselves get bigger easier now i understand that things like steroids still require work but you know me personally i try and stay away from anything that i see as a shortcut now, with the steroids thing, right? Now, there are some people that are professional bodybuilders and, you know, quite frankly, they can't compete unless they are honing in all their diet and their training, you know, and reaching their genetic limits and taking steroids. But it's a fact that there are loads and loads of people, loads more people out there that are taking steroids and, you know, they're not reaching their genetic limits with their training. They're not optimizing their diet as much as they can, you know, and then they're taking steroids to achieve a physique that might be ever so slightly better or maybe even the same as what they could achieve if they just trained super, super hard, you know, honed in their diet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, it might be the case that life doesn't allow them to be able to hone their diet in enough and train enough to reach that limit that they're able to get to, you know, by taking steroids. But that just means that their life means that what they're trying to achieve is unobtainable, right? And ultimately, someone who's built a physique naturally, you know, they're always going to be able to hold on to it better. They're going to be a more disciplined person, right? Now, I get it, the steroids thing might not be the best example because, you know, there are people out there that have got physiques from steroids and trained hard that are, that are just impossible otherwise. But, you know, for me, like a lot of people have messaged me saying, oh, you know, what do you think about steroids and, you know, and warning me to stay away from steroids. Now, for me, it's simple, right? If I'm going to take drugs, 
it's gonna be cocaine, right? <laughs> if I'm gonna take drugs, it ain't gonna be something that makes my muscles bigger. It's gonna make, it's gonna be cocaine, right? So, you know, steroids for me are out of the question. But, you know, it's just an example of something I see in the world as a shortcut. And the way I look at it is, look, right? You know, if you're the kind of person that's always hunting for shortcuts, right? You are gonna end up falling for a load of shortcuts that don't give you what they claim to give you. Right? So all that wasted time that you've been chasing shortcuts, you could have been putting in to working hard and getting where you want to be, you know, deservedly from hard work. Because the reality is that most things out there that claim to be a shortcut, that claim to be a life hack, are bollocks. Alright? And you know, they're just a waste of time. A lot of these products out there, you know, they earn people big money, they get celebrities to endorse them, etc. etc. And look. You're either someone that falls for things like that, or you're not, you know? In the same way that you're either someone that works hard to get where you want to be, or you're not. At the end of the day, there's always going to be way, 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 way more losers out there than winners. So, you know, you want to be the kind of person that does work harder than everyone else, that does ignore all these gimmicks and shortcuts. Now, even if, you know, like a one in a billion chance, there's someone out there that has only ever fallen for two or three shortcuts and every single one of them has given them exactly what it claims to give them. You know, they've reached the heights in whatever area those shortcuts are supposed to enhance about your life, you know, and there was literally no side effects, no drawbacks, you know, and they've just been super, super lucky. They're still not going to be as strong a human being, as worthy human being as someone who has worked and worked and worked to reach those levels of whatever it was, you know, naturally, organically. So, look, I don't care if there's things out there that can get me to where I'm going easier. I'm a better person if I have to work hard every day, if I suffer every day, you know, and look, as I say, I know that I've been sort of trying to improve my efficiency lately, so I don't want people to misunderstand. I'm not improving my efficiency so that I can relax more and get the same results. I'm trying to improve my efficiency so I can get more done every day. Because, you know, despite the fact that so many of you guys out there message me talking about burnout, talking about how I'm working too hard, this is nothing. Like, this is nothing. I'm still being lazy. I'm at 1% of where I want to be. You know, I keep saying, you should always be on an upward trajectory. Like, you know, forget burnout, forget relaxing. You want to always be trying to do more and more and more and more. Because, you know, people's sort of view of burnout and what's capable is wrong. You know, and that's why most people out there are basically living mediocre lives. You know, there's only a select few people that, you know, reach the real heights of life. In, Whatever way you look at that, whether it be money, whether it be relationships, whether it be you know spiritual enlightenment, whether it be you know fitness and health, it's only a select few, and that's because you have to push past what most people think is possible, you know, to get to those heights. And you ain't gonna get there with shortcuts because if that was the case, then everyone out there who's taking these shortcuts would be getting there. You know, for example, I keep seeing this machine. Um, advertise online and actually my big brother used to have one years and years and years ago um, you know he, he was a bodybuilder most of his life you know where you put it on your abs and uh, you turn it on it's an electrical thing that you know pulses or whatever and it's supposed to give you a six pack you know in 30 days like and they sell it as if it's you know going to give you a six pack without any effort and all this now my brother was a bodybuilder so he would work abs you know more than most people would as a bodybuilder, and then he would put that on as well to give him that extra 1%, right? It's not a miracle cure, but yeah, it's just one of the things, one of the gimmicks, one of the shortcuts that I see advertised regularly, right? And they're the kind of things you want to stay away from. If you want a six pack, go and work your abs every day. Go and do hundreds and hundreds of sit-ups every day and stop overeating. Take in less calories than your body can burn in a day and do loads of sit-ups. That's how you get a six pack, not by buying this stupid gimmick machine, you know. You know, another thing that's like a shortcut, you know, the lottery, the national lottery. I used to do the lottery every week. Not, you know, I didn't like, go crazy. You should do a couple of lines a week. <laughs> a couple of lines a week. 
a couple of lines on the lottery a week. And then one day I realized, I mean, first of all, your odds are really slim, but that didn't stop me playing the lottery. What stopped me playing the lottery was the fact that if I won the lottery, that would be bad for me. Now, what would I do if I won the lottery? Like, especially back in the days where I was taking drugs and doing things I shouldn't. I'd probably end up killing myself in a month. I'd probably go out and get a massive mountain of cocaine and end up, you know, having an overdose. And also, you know, why should I become a millionaire if I haven't put the work in to become a millionaire? So, you know, that's why I decided to stop playing the lottery. Because I saw the lottery as one of those shortcuts, which, first of all, is highly unlikely to turn me into a millionaire because the odds are so slim. And second of all, it's even if it did turn me into a millionaire, what kind of millionaire would I be? I'd be a weak millionaire that wasn't ready or deserving of millions. So look, you know, as you go through life, as you try and improve things constantly, you know, which I urge everyone to do on a daily basis, and as you try and make your life more and more efficient, don't be fooled by shortcuts. You know, everything worth doing and everything worth having is achieved from hard work. I just had to re-stick my camera to the windscreen. But look, basically what I'm trying to say is, for me, and I can only speak for me, everything worth having requires hard work. If you're the kind of person that's always looking for gimmicks and shortcuts and life hacks, you're never gonna get to where you could have if you just put the work in. And that's the way it should be. Because if you don't put the work in, then you don't deserve to get to where you could if you did put the work in. So look, that's my rant over. I need to get myself to my other garage and crack on with everything I need to do. And uh, yeah, we'll see how much I can get done today. All right, so just finished at the garage. Today has been another day that just hasn't gone to plan. Yeah, I haven't been able to get going as much as I would have liked today, admittedly but I still have been grafting. Um, it's been really hot today and I've had a splitting headache all day, which hasn't helped, but you know, when I've made my way all the way around to that garage, there's no point me going home, I just have to sort of soldier through. So yeah, one thing's for sure, I'm still getting the feelings when I'm around the garage with my cars, that, you know, selling everything and uh, giving it all up is a real possibility, but I think it's partly just because there is so much clutter there and it's just so messy and I'm, I'm trying to tidy up my life in general. So I'm, I'm hopeful uh, and I believe that, you know, once I have got rid of a lot of clutter, which is gonna mean, you know, I'm bringing in a bit of money um, for selling all these parts I don't need. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping that when I sort of declutter my car world, um, then, you know, I won't feel like that. But you know, I'm just being honest with you, you know, now that I'm fully dedicating my life basically to being the strongest person I can be physically, mentally and spiritually, the cars just aren't number one priority anymore. Um, but, you know, that's how it is. All right, so I've made it home and my headache's definitely a little bit better than it was. I have decided to flop the gym though, but I'm gonna do another little mini workout here at home. I've got boxing tomorrow at 12 noon, which is another reason why I don't wanna absolutely annihilate myself in the gym tonight, because yeah, I definitely wanna go boxing. But um, yeah, I don't wanna completely wimp out, which is why I'm gonna do a bit here at home. I think one thing that might not have helped with my headache is this thing. I've got my beautiful girlfriend, Kat, to look out for a big thermos flask. And uh, yeah, she found this one, but it's two liters. So yeah, when I take that flask to the garage in future, maybe I won't fill it all the way up. I think I end up putting about seven heaped spoonfuls of instant coffee in it. Um, and I haven't drunk it all, but um, most of it. <laughs> anyway, I'm on arms and chest again at the gym. So I'm gonna do some chest press, back to back with some bicep things. And then I'm gonna take some weight off of the bar and do barbell bicep curls back to back with push-ups. And then I'm gonna have a shower and have some dinner. Mm. 
Mm. Right, well, dinner was lovely. I had chicken and egg and salad, of course. And um, yeah, it's now 10 p.m. So I'm going to chill out for a bit. I might actually start listing some bits on eBay or uh, maybe answer some emails, but I don't want to dive into anything too extensive because I want to try and go to bed early so that I can get up early in the morning. Now, today was another day where I got hardly anything done compared to what I was hoping to get done. But as I've mentioned before, I do always set kind of unrealistic goals because then it means that I don't get complacent. You know, it forces me to be more on it and um, yeah, forces me to not get lazy and start doing things like scrolling on my phone and other things that aren't going to be productive. Now, obviously, if I allow myself to, my mind will start telling me that I'm not achieving anything because I'm, you know, going through these days where I'm not getting as much done as I would have hoped. But, you know, that is my mind just trying to lie to me and trying to focus on the negative. You know, as I've said before, your reticular activation system, you know, the filter that your mind uses to decide what it focuses on. You know, if I focus on the things that I didn't get done, then it's easy for me to feel like I'm not achieving anything. And in the grand scheme of things, you know, I do need to sort of take a step back and realize that just the fact that I'm not taking drugs, the fact that I haven't taken drugs for 241 days means I have achieved something majorly. Just the fact that near enough on a daily basis, I get messages from some of you guys saying that what I'm doing here is inspiring you means that, yeah, I am achieving stuff massively. You know, I know to some people, <laughs> me banging on about, you know, struggling to get up at 7.30 in the morning, you know, to some people, that's not a struggle. Well, to me, it is a struggle. And I'm not here to compare myself to other people. I'm just trying to do the best that I can. But, you know, when I do allow myself to compare myself to, you know, living 20 plus years as a waste man, then yeah, I am achieving stuff. So look, tomorrow. I'm hoping for another really busy day. I want to get up early. I want to dive into some bits on my MacBook before I go to boxing. And then after boxing, I want to get myself over to my other garages again to continue where I left off today. But yeah, as always, massive thanks to everyone who's made it this far. I hope this video has been somewhat useful or motivational and uh, I'll chat to you tomorrow.